So when we match, there's a few parts that you're going to have. First, you're going to want to have your mat and your backboard. And typically, if you go to Michael's or someplace like that and buy something that looks like this, it is going to come with the backboard. There's going to be a piece of white cardboard in there. It looks like cardboard. That, that's what we're going to mount your picture to. The other piece is the cut mat. And it's got what's called the beveled side. So that's the side that's got the diagonal cut in it versus the back side that is flat. If you straight down at it, it's flat versus having this little bevel. This is called acid free. What that means is that it's not going to discolor your print. In the olden days, for some reason, tape, glues, um, papers all had acid in them. And it makes for a hot mess on a picture. If you've seen maybe your grandparents or great grandparents in their old pictures, and there's little brown spots, squares and stuff, it's because they taped it into a photo album and that tape wrecked the picture over time. So we've got our backboard, we've got our, our, our um, mat. Then we're gonna have this stuff, which is linen tape. Don't go out and buy linen tape. Come in and mat with me because you guys are gonna have a hard time finding this I've discovered. And I've got three rolls that I've got for the class. So we'll be able to cut this here and do your matting. So you need two mat, you need one piece that is almost the length, the long length of your mat and that, the mounting board. You also want four shorter pieces that we're gonna use to actually mount the picture to the backboard. Some people use spray adhesive. I've had nothing but troubles with spray adhesive. The picture goes down and it's crooked and then I try to pull it up and I bend the picture and I don't breathe that stuff well. So I usually don't use it. So when we're matting, the very first thing you've got to do is figure out what is the top side. So the piece of the mat that's going to face your viewer. That needs to go face down. We then want the two pieces butted up against one another so that they are equal on the top and the bottom. And there is effectively no space. They are just the cut line. We're then going to take, it's called linen tape. And it's got, it really is linen. It's a cotton fiber based tape, and this is where maths go in the butt. Can't lick my fingers. Yep, there it goes, okay. So there's a wax paper backside to it that gets peeled away. You've got your tape. Now, one of the things that you're gonna to wanna to do is have some weighted material around. So the roll of tape, put it down. Anything else that is not going to leave a mark on anything can be used. Because you want it to stay in place while you use it. And this is what's called a hinge. Because now what's going to happen is I can close this. And I now have a mat and a backboard that are hinged and are going to drop into a frame if we need to. So now the next piece gets to be fun. The tape and the remote are too big for me to put something in the middle, literal toys. Beanie Babies, if anybody still screws around with Beanie Babies, a Beanie Baby is the best thing ever because it's soft and it's not going to leave anything on your print. I will ask that you all come with some sort of gloves because with COVID, we're not supposed to share the gloves. So normally we'd have these to share, but I can't do that. 
Um, Henry may have some of these cotton gloves, but I doubt it. Um, but now I can touch this picture because I have these on and I'm not gonna mess up my picture like it was earlier. Okay. When I open this up, the reason why we use these guys is so that I can weight it down. I can figure out this is where I want it to sit, meaning my picture. And then I can lift this out. And I don't know if you can notice, but my picture isn't exactly straight. There's nothing that says that once you cut your mat, once you have all that stuff, that the picture still has to look like it's a perfectly lined up thing. You may want to actually mess with it a bit underneath and figure out where do I want this to sit? And always make sure that you've got no white showing through the mat anywhere unless you have purposely done it and it's an even layer of white all the way around. So now we put our toys on there so they stay in place. Now this becomes, we're doing a drop down mount. There are some people that will show you how to hold these things so that you can put corners on here, but corners make distance. It makes there to be space and it can push your mat. And if your mat is pushed, it means that there's the potential that the frame, it'll move within the frame. And we don't want that. So now we got to get all these little guys open. How is everybody's projects coming? Like, are we happy with our ideas? Are we getting shots that we think will work? Because I know watching me pull tape has got to be the most boring <laughs> thing you've watched all day long. But this is what you're in for. And I wanted you to see physically see this. Now I map all the time. So I can do these pretty quick. But since you all are new to this, you're going to want to give yourself some time when you come in to print if your prints are ready to do this. Or come back on one of the other days that we've got scheduled for printing and just do your matting. Because I will have all of this stuff in here. I put down a piece of butcher paper um, so that my print and my maps aren't touching these tables because God knows what's on them. Um, and you don't want your maps to get dirty either because that's going to be the front facing part to the, to the um, viewer. Seem to be the same size. No, no. Um, I actually did a thing. I called it Tea Party. I did some composited images and I had three by fives and four by sixes and five by sevens and eight by tens and one eight by twelve and the whole thing. But I was also using to make it make sense. And because it looked as if you were going to a tea party, I did them in like frames that you would normally do like the frilly sort of finished frames that your parents may have or something like that. that so, fun. yeah, because that's just it. You know, you make all this creativity with this image and then how do you finish it? How do you show it to your viewer? There, there may be times, wow, this one's just being a bugger. There may be times that having no frame at all makes sense but there are some people that will come back at you and say, no, 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 it's photography. It's supposed to be matted at least. And so that's why we have to show you this much. If you are into the finished product, you may consider taking photo 120, which is image and idea, where you have an entire semester to work on a project or um, 115 which is uh, 
few of these pieces not very nice. Um, 115 is advanced digital and you will learn how to use um, video and Photoshop and do composited images and presentation is a big piece of that. So, well, that piece is gonna be a pain in the butt. This is the reason I stopped biting my nails, was to try to get these to work and it still doesn't. Yeah, I do. <laughs> if you can get that, that would be awesome. Thank you. One more, please. <laughs> Thank you for the help. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. So at this point, because these little guys have been holding my print down, it hasn't gone anywhere. Let me get my book. But now we're going to start manhandling the, moving that print a bit. We got to lift it up. So. One of the pieces is going to go over one side and it's going to go to the back. And a second piece is going to go on the other side and come up above the print. So now, because we've moved this all over the place, let's close it again and make sure we're in the right spot. And we're not. Yeah, that's working for me. So now I want those guys back in there, holding it down. So when I open this, Now, these other two pieces are the anchors. And they're literally going across. Hey, that's the opposite direction, right? So the ones that are hooking it, we've got the piece that stuck to came out and we've got this exposed tape above it. This is the exposed tape. And now I have this other piece that I want to cover that and that anchors it to that mat. Now I can close this and pick these guys up and I've got my mat piece 